Hello. Today, we're going to talk about what may be the most taboo of qPCR topics, DNA contamination. But be not afraid. We have seven simple things that can help you minimize the chances of contaminating your qPCR experiment. So let's get started. Tip number one, always wear gloves and work in a dedicated qPCR area. Whenever choosing gloves, choose the right size for you, not too loose, not too snug. Number two, whenever possible, for template, use screw cap tubes. There are a few better ways to catapult your template all over your bench and your neighbor's bench than by popping open a snap cap tube. How do you contaminate it by work? <sighs> See? Number three, always use dedicated qPCR pipettes and never hesitate to protect them. Number four, also together with these dedicated pipettes, use aerosol resistant filter tips. And trust us, you will not regret the money you spend on a PCR grade water. Now, number six, you may be used to cleaning your bench with ethanol or isopropanol, but that's actually a really bad idea for qPCR. Ethanol only precipitates the DNA and it doesn't remove it. Like your mother told you, use bleach. 10% bleach works wonders. And finally, remember to always, always include a no template control. Contamination will happen and the only way you'll know it is by using an NTC control in your plate. That's it for this episode. You can go back to watching CAD videos or anything else that you may find on the internet. But be sure to check out our other lab notes on the Byrad Life Science YouTube channel. If you have any suggestions for future episodes or tips that you may want to share with you, with us, <laughs> leave us a note in the YouTube comment section. Now, back to setting up my experiment. 